Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Margaret Bu from UK. Hi Margaret, how are you doing? Hi, I'm great, thank you. Thank you for being here. So Margaret helps technology companies attract and hire the best talent for commercial and technological roles across Europe. Currently senior talent partner at Miramax in UK, but her other passion is coaching. She has helped uh, thousands of job seekers worldwide to get hired or promoted. And she worked with clients at all career levels from graduates to executive levels. And her clients have landed roles at top fortune 100 and 500 companies across several uh, continents. She has, had, she has been recognized as one of the top 21 career influencers to follow in 2019. So Maria, thank you for being here. So as a career coach, we know that the first thing uh, recruiters will check when they found a resume that they are interested in, they will check the LinkedIn profile. And I know that you, you do a LinkedIn courses and LinkedIn workshops. So can you tell me more in details what can job seekers or immigrants or newcomers can do to optimize their LinkedIn profile. Absolutely. And actually, just to clarify, I wouldn't say it's the first thing we do to look at LinkedIn once we've received the resume, although we do that and hiring yeah. managers do that as well, just to ensure yeah. that it's kind of, you know, same yeah. or, or similar. Um, however, employers and recruiters use LinkedIn <clears throat> to locate both active job seekers um, and those who aren't necessarily looking. So these are passive um, candidates. Um, we also definitely use LinkedIn to vet job candidates before making an interview invitation yes. um, or extending um, a job offer. Um, so, however, LinkedIn profile is not your resume. It, you know, it's a personal branding page. Um, you need both. Um, they should be in sync with one another, definitely the same dates, uh, but not exact copies. So how do you optimize um, your profile so that recruiters come to you? It, it, it's, it, it's a big topic, actually. I will maybe share with you later um, a recording of a webinar I did on this topic because we can't cover everything today. Um, but, but I will share some tips. So firstly, um, users with completed profiles are 40 times more likely to receive um, opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, however, just because it says that your profile is complete, um, it doesn't mean it's optimized. Yeah. So there are a lot of paths to LinkedIn optimization. Today, I will maybe cover just the headline um, summary and work experience section. Yes. Um, but in general, like you need your industry and location, you need your up-to-date position with um, description, at least two past position, your education, um, skills, you know, profile photo, and at least um, 50 connections. But I would say that the main sections to optimize um, are your headline, um, your summary section, and your experience section. So let me just give you a few um, yes. brief tips on, on, on each of them. So <clears throat> firstly, let's start with the tagline, yes. um, also known as the headline. Yes. So optimizing your tagline with keywords and phrases is very important for keyword optimizing your LinkedIn profile. Um, so in that tagline, you would want to use the keywords um, the scriptos and deliverables which uh, for which you want to be found by hiring managers and recruiters. So don't let it default to your current job title. So if you're a finance manager, I ideally you don't want to have just yes. that. Um, and LinkedIn headline gives you um, right now uh, 220 characters, that's okay. about 50 words, um, to describe yourself. So be selective about what you include. And I will talk about some examples in a moment, but yes. in general, what you want to have, you want to show your skills and expertise um, what do you do? You want to communicate the value you bring to a new employer. You know, why should they care? Um, you would want to include at least one keyword or phrase for the type of a job you want. Mm -hmm. um, and potentially it's, it's just optional. You, put, you might want to show something unique um, to make your LinkedIn profile stand out. So it could be an accomplishment or an award or a passion. Mm -hmm. When I share that recording with you later, um, you will be able to see some specific examples, but I, I will, you know, it's kind of easier to see it on yeah. the screen. I will, I will share a few examples. So your headline formula might be your role and then specific achievement. So you might want to have, for example, B2B insight sales rep, you know, the, the, it's not a slash, you know, the, yeah. right there, um, and say, you know, two and a half million generated in 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, or you might want to have, you know, digital ads manager slash, you know, five years experience managing seven figure ad, ads budgets. Okay. Um, you might want to mention um, your role, um, your industry expertise, and your unique values. So, for example, director of HR at Oracle, software technology, certified HR trainer. Mm -hmm. um, or you might want to have, 
um, like, you know, what's your role? What are you helping? What kind of like helping a type of a company? What kind of you know, do? And then you mentioned the results. So what about, example, what, have, about, what, what about graduates that they don't have experience? What can they put there? Mention that in a moment. Let me just let me just quickly um, yeah. finish that example, but I, I will mention that as well. So you can have you know social media manager and then mm -hmm. say helping software startups manage and grow their social media um, to drive more sales. Or yeah. you can also mention, and that's actually what you can mention as a graduate potentially, like um, what's your role and like you know what you're specializing in. So for example, content marketing strategist specializing in press releases, blog content, and social media for you know B2B SaaS startups, as yeah. an example. If you're a graduate, of course it's a little bit harder right because you don't yeah. have that specific experience um but you still might want to have something like um just trying to think of a specific um role like let, let's say you're a software engineer you can yeah. mention you know graduate software engineer um you know javascript maybe mention like or you know react or mention what the specific coding language is that that you specialize in um and and you can even mention like you know looking mm -hmm. for entry level role in a you know tech company or something like that yeah. so Still, you know, even if you are a graduate, like, of course, you will not be able to mention, you know, years of experience, but right. what is it that you're looking to do? You know, what specific expertise you have? And even if you don't have specific expertise yet, like, let's say you, uh, you're you a graduate of marketing and you ideally look, and, you know, in marketing, as you know, there could be many different positions, yeah. brand marketing, marketing, communications, you know? So, um, you know, I presume even as a graduate, you would have had some internships um, yeah, that, that, that sure. you've had. So yeah. you can always mention, you know, um, uh, if you if you graduated from some really well-known school you can mention that as well yes yeah. like yeah. harvard graduate or i don't know a london school yeah. of economics graduate you can mention that as well and you can maybe mention your know, marketing communications and mention mm -hmm. some other keywords from the job description that you have some expertise in so um yeah it, it will be um yeah, you, you'll be able to find something. It's just yeah. finding the right key about unique, about relevant yourself. to the job description. And of course, you know, as you have more experience, you, you know, you're going to have some more expertise. But definitely don't don't put something like graduate looking for a job or like yeah. anyone, you know, looking yeah. for a job. Because that's when I'm looking for someone as a recruiter, I will not be typing in looking for a job. You know, you can keep yourself open to recruiters. You, there is a function on LinkedIn. Yes. I think most people are aware. You can, and if you don't know how to do it, just Google it, how yeah. to open, you know, open your profile Yes, exactly. Open to work. It's very easy to do. Yeah. Um, we can mention that there, but as a recruiter, if I'm looking for someone, I will not be looking for that. You know, I'll be, be looking for someone who graduated in the last year. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be looking for a specific degree and I'll be looking for some specific keywords. And if you are also maybe known, like let, let's say you graduated with very limited experience, say in marketing, but you know some of the technical maybe like programs that, that or any kind of like software, yeah. you know, that's being used. I don't know if you use HubSpot or if you've used if you're very good at, you know, if you have like CRM or something, yes, yeah. exactly, like any kind of CRM, then you might want to add that to your headline as well. Um, so that would be um, that would be headline. about the, the, the headline. So just remember, like keywords, you know, and what your expertise is. Oh. Um, then the summary section, that's yeah. the one that I find a lot of people don't do very well because they either have just like two or three sentences mm -hmm. um, or they actually have nothing at all. Yes, I've so seen those. Just, I've seen those. Exactly. So there's literally nothing. They have experience, but that's really like the first thing that a recruiter would look at, you know, because that yeah. summary section provides you. I think it's two thousand characters. Yes, two thousand to three thousand words. 2, okay, so my memory that's increased yeah. <laughs> to showcase your like achievements and um, so basically that ideally you should have some examples of how you've achieved various things instead of just telling people like the recap of your experience. Yeah. Um, and also you can reference other parts of your profile there to encourage readers to keep scrolling to other sections of. Of, of your profile and mm -hmm. um, your work is more prominently um, described. So here, you know, here's where you can really start to build your brand because, so remove all the like really cliches from your um, summary. Uh, what do I mean by cliches? Like I'm, um, you know, highly motivated, yes. so, you know, all, yeah. all of that stuff. So remove that, make it just really jump up with action driven information and language. Ideally let your personality shine through as well. Don't tell someone you're results driven, demonstrate this by yeah. citing some results on your profile so like show the trait that you have don't just mm -hmm. say that you have the, the trait. accomplishments you've done exactly exactly so like ask yourself you know how did they make money save money streamline the procedure improve the outcome or you know, yeah. you know contribute to a culture and another way to ask yourself this question is how do i know i did a good job and then describe what that what that good job um looked like so basically in that summary section um focus on demonstrating what you will do for an employer 
emphasize the hard skills first and foremost, because I mean, there's no point saying you have excellent communication skills. They will assess that yes. during the interview. So focus on the hard skills relevant to the job, have some numbers, have some data, mm -hmm. keywords for the type of a job you want. Um, show some passion for your work and you know show some personality as well and and utilize white space and, and small paragraphs to, to make your LinkedIn summary um, easier to read. Yeah. There is actually an article on LinkedIn um, and I, I do show the link in my uh, webinar but you can try to google that LinkedIn actually has uh, LinkedIn has an article on their blog on um, like you know examples of the best LinkedIn well yeah. the best you know some of the good good, good LinkedIn summaries so I think just, people, yeah. exactly I think if you just put in Google best LinkedIn summaries plus LinkedIn you will you will find it very easy uh, and yeah. what, what I liked I think there's more than one article but um, you will see the examples of summaries and you will see what's good about them so. Yeah. They all have different styles. It doesn't have to be the same style. We're all different. We all have different, you know, writing skills or whatever. But have a have a look at some of these articles with the with the best summary section. And then the final section that's um, important to optimize is that experience section. And again, the mistake I see a lot of people make is that they just have the job title. Yeah. Yeah, or they, they either yeah they either have too much information or they have nothing. You know, they just have maybe the job title, uh, but they maybe don't have the the right keyword. So, um, I mean, firstly, like link your job to the company because when you add the job to LinkedIn, you are asked for the name of the company that you worked for, and if they have a profile on LinkedIn, then LinkedIn will lead your will link your job to that company and show the company's logo on your profile. So then you work show up as an employee who worked there. Yes. So definitely do that. Um, start with an overview. So like use a few sentences, just maybe two or three to give mm -hmm. the reader an overview of what your job entails. Um, maybe like some facts and figures. So like let's say you're a manager. Well, who do you manage? What do you manage? Budget, right? So you might want to mention the size of the- How many people you managed, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And in general, and that goes really both for resume and LinkedIn, Ideally, you would completely want to remove responsible for or duties included, you know, just use some action verbs such as manage, led, grew, reduced, saved, you know, delivered. Yeah. Um, definitely use keywords that you would um, like research the keywords that you should include for each job. Um, so what are the keywords in your current job description or in the job description that you would be interested in? Yes. Make sure the keywords are there. At the same time, you know, keep it clear and concise. Like don't use four words when yeah. one will do. Um, use the correct tense as well. That means using the present tense, mm -hmm. the current job and past tense yes. or previous jobs. Mm -hmm. It just seems like common sense, but it doesn't always happen. Yeah. Um, and definitely include achievement. And that goes for everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Resume and LinkedIn. So instead of saying like, um, I mean, you know, like uh, basically, like you might just want to have something like increased sales by 20%, 12% in the first year following my promotion, yeah. you know, and, and keep it concise as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Check for spelling um, and grammar. And just like finally, that goes really for the whole LinkedIn profile. You want to have um, the right keywords in your summary section, experience section, and to an extent in the tagline section as well. Um, keywords are really quite important um, throughout your profile, not just your tagline, um, because in your summary and experience section, you would want to use words that will enable hiring managers to find you for yeah. that specific keyword. So use the script of words that share your abilities, you know, subject matter expertise, um, skill sets as often as possible. I mean, when I say as often as possible, it has to make sense. Like you can't yeah. just like put 50 keywords there and think that that's yeah. going to look stupid, you know, but you just use as much as possible without, you know, with, yeah. within reason. Just like think, you know, put yourself in the shoes of a recruiter. If you were looking for someone with a specific skill set or from a certain industry, mm -hmm. what words would you type into the search bar to find the right person? Yes. And, and that hopefully yeah. will. Those are very great and very insightful uh Thanks, Margaret, you shared. Thank you for that. And I will always ask that the banner, the first part that by default sometimes comes like a blank, I always encourage my clients that to use Canva to put some words there, some of their values, because that's also a place that to show about your personality and who you are. That's another, another tip that I can give. And I'm sure we're going to go more deep uh, when everyone watches the, the webinar that you've done that I can post. I will, I will share a link. I did a couple. I mean, I did more than a couple, but I think I have a couple of recordings. So oh, I will that will be great. So again, for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Margaret a couple of questions and I'm going to share them on the week. So you can uh, like a journey with us. You can like all of them, share, put comments. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Margaret. Thank you.